Number one station in the street, streets 945 and 404 boys, Ferrari Simmons, like our DC. Oh, and listen, man, tonight I'm at the Booty Club, Club Onyx, uh. man, 1588 Cheshire Bridge Road, number one strip club in the city. They just came up here the whole six o'clock hour. Yes. We had them girls do some tricks on the IG live. Man, oh, my God. But don't worry about that. Tonight, who we got in the building right now? Man, listen, what's understood does not have to be explained. He's in the A, man. Detroit is in the building. And I told y'all, I don't like to introduce people. I want them to introduce themselves. Atlanta, what's poppin'? This T Grizzly, ain't it a blessing? We what made it to the A after all that happened. What? We on Streets 45, let's get it. Yeah, what, bro. Hey. Fly got DC, what's up, man? Hey, boy, you got about, you got a cool $20,000 on the on the table right now. No, that's about, that's about 45. Oh, oh excuse me, <laughs> <you, laughs> man. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> so listen, man, where did the name T Grizzly come from, first and foremost? Well, first and foremost, congratulations on changing the route of your, your lifestyle and how everything used to be. But where did the name T Grizzly come from for all those that don't know? I got it from prison. You know what I'm saying? I was locked up and I was kind of bigger than dudes. I, I got dreads, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? And I was just aggressive. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like a grizzly for real. Okay, you know now, now speaking of locked up, you were locked up for a... I was locked up for a smash and grab on a jewelry store in Kentucky. And I was um, some home invasions in Lansing. Now, now in the song... Uh, first day out, it basically tells like a story about everything. Um, um, they was off, or they was trying to give you thirty years yeah. and everything of that nature. So the song itself is a story about basically your whole life. Yeah, the cases that I caught, you know, what I'm saying, what changed me, what made me here today, my first day out. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm getting out, ain't nobody really hear the truth about the cases or didn't know why I was locked up. So let me tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like that. I like that. So are you on probation now? I'm on parole. Oh, you're on parole? Yeah. Okay, Two good. states. I can't move around. You can't move around. Understandable. Now, you're signed under 300. First and foremost, 3 million plus views and streams the first couple of weeks. How does that feel? It feels good. It let me know that I'm touching people. You know what I'm saying? It let me know that people like it. They listening to it. They, they saving it, downloading it. They rocking with me. That feels good. You know, everybody can't do that. Now, you're signed under 300, and, and you just got out in November, correct? Yeah. Now, how does it feel to be signed that quickly to a label that has a lot of great talent under them? Man, it feels like a dream, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Me coming home, when you locked up for so long, having your freedom don't even seem real, let alone having your freedom, having a record deal, finally having the most money you ever had, people looking up to you, your music doing good. Like It's just like a dream, for real. Now, when, when Trey Songs brought you out at the concert in Detroit, yeah. like, how, how was that feeling? Like, a explain that in, in, in two to three words, the feeling that you received. Like, was it a rush in your body? Did you, did you get chill bumps? I got chills. It was electric, bro. It was like, it was like I was high. I felt like I was high, <laughs> drunk. You know what I'm saying? I feel so good, bro. I saw so many people I knew in them crowds. When I left, everybody from the city, I got the chills seeing you on the stage. I used to see you walking to the stove. You know what I'm saying? All that type stuff. Now, I must say, it's very difficult to move in Atlanta. As yes. everyone finds out when they come to Atlanta, it's very difficult. Because people don't have to play nobody from outside of Atlanta because we have our own artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to let you know, you have a really good record. And I cannot wait to talk about it. You got the intro coming up? Yes, coming up in how long? Mm, six minutes and 24 seconds. So listen, man, I don't need y'all to test that dial. Detroit is in the building. T Grizzly is in the building. 300 is in the building, man. He's about to break that first day out right here with them four, four boys ride DC on the number one station in the street. Streets 945. Number one station in the street. Streets 945. Them four, four boys Ferrari Simmons. Fly guy DC. Who we got in the building, DC? Man, T Grizzly is in the building. Detroit's fine. Let's keep dropping the these building. bombs real quick, DC. Y'all know what's going on, man. I told y'all. We get the exclusives. We break the exclusives, man. We are five for five. And we we six don't for six. Oh, we six, six for six. My apologies. Six for six. We don't this lose. This about to be yet, seven man. for seven T right T Grizzly here. introducing yeah. my brother. Man, y'all listening to First Day Out. You know what I'm saying? I recorded this, dropped it on my first day out. Tune in. Turn y'all radio. Woo! Cut it up, man. Five. Back out. 945, them four, four boy Ferrari Simmons. Fly guy DC. You just heard that banger. Yes, man. It's called First Day Out, man. Where can they go get that at, my brother? I mean, it's everywhere, first and foremost. Yeah. Three million streams in the first couple of weeks. I mean, they can go get it anywhere, but just inform them for all those that don't know. Go on Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, where, wherever they sell music at, you can go get it. Nice. If your cousin house, if they sell music at your cousin <laughs> house, you can go get it from over there. Now, 
Would you consider yourself Detroit's chosen one? Because I've seen a lot of people branding that with you and, and, and tagging that all along with you. Do you consider yourself that, or do you feel like you are Detroit's chosen one? I'm the first one that did, that, that, that's been broke the barriers and got over the obstacles that we've been trying it's, to get it's over. It's difficult. It's difficult. That, we said, that we've been trying to get over for so long, you know what I'm saying? So I would say I, I feel like it's bigger. I feel like I'm the chosen one for everybody who can't get over the obstacles and make it here. Whether it's Detroit, whether it's Ohio, whether it's Lexington, anywhere, I feel like I'm the chosen one for all of them. Now that your your record is very is damn near replacing the Meek Mill intro, and that's what I was exactly about to say. It gives everybody that dreams and nightmares feel because it's a build up to when the beat drop, and it's just like it's real life situations. And, and like 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 where did that? I mean, I know where the inspiration came at, but did you write that when you were locked up? Like, how did it come about? Man, I was sitting on my bunk. It was April 2015. I wrote that song. Uh, I wrote that song. I'm like, this at this point, April 2015, I knew I was coming home. And I'm like, man, I got to go crazy on my first song. You know, I got to drop a first day out like Goosey, but it got to be turned up like that Dreams and Nightmares was. So you know? did you think that it would have the effect that it has now? No, I didn't. I thought I knew it was gonna go crazy in Detroit, but I didn't think it was gonna blow up like that everywhere else. Globally, okay. Now, uh, speaking of Detroit, um, is there a lot of pressure on you, being that you're from Detroit, and other artists like Big Sean, Days Loaf, and Eminem are also from Detroit? Do you feel like like they set such a high standard, or or there's a lot of pressure on you that you have to succeed as an artist? No pressure at all. It's no pressure at all. I know where I'm going. I know what my goal is. I'm gonna get there. You sound very comfortable. You sound very confident. And that's, that's one thing a lot of artists sometimes lack in yes. the beginning. Yeah. Um, tell that you can hold your own in the paint like that. Thank you. Now, um, your birthday is in a couple of weeks. Yeah, March 23rd. What, 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 he didn't think you knew that? No, I, uh, <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> and he called me on he guard. Real, listen, listen, wait, on listen, listen, I yeah, got you. On, man. Now, yeah. by you being locked up and behind bars the last three years, you really haven't had a birthday to where you can celebrate and do what you want to do. What you doing, so bro? What are the you plans the for the you PA? The we going we going to the strip club, bro. Just so you know, Listen, that's gonna be the first stop. I just I just did a, I just did a, um, a song with somebody from Atlanta. I ain't gonna say no name. He did though. And it's called From the A to the D. And on my, we gonna suit it around my birthday from the A to the D. I got an idea. We got a couple names. I got an idea. Yeah. So you dropping that on your birthday? Yeah, and we gonna shoot some of the video down here, so we gonna be turned up. So listen, man, for all y'all that that didn't hear it or you're hearing it now, March twenty third. Yes, man, he's dropping a single. It's called From the A to the D. T Grizzly featuring one of the hottest artists in the A, man. And my last question, I know it's kind of early, but I have to ask because I feel like. You should be. Do you feel like you're gonna make the double XL freshman class cover this year? Of course. Of course. I agree. Who else? Of course. Cause, cause, cause. If I don't, I mean, what else do I have to do? The that's exactly, that's exactly what I just right. said. Who you else? Absolutely right. If not him. Who else? Understandable, man. Look, he's putting on for Detroit, man. Let him know. Let the city know. For everybody who don't know who you are in the A, man, let them know where they can follow you at. Let them know where they can get all your music at, and let them know what's coming up from you for the rest of the year, my brother. Listen, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook at T underscore Grizzly. T-E-E underscore G-R-I-Z-Z-L-E-Y. I'm a, I write everybody back, and I read everything on Instagram. So if you want to go in there and talk to me, and you normal, come holler at me on Instagram. Yeah, you normal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> all the music, iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, all of that. You know what I'm saying? You can tap in right there. But I got to say something to Atlanta, though. I ain't, I ain't been anywhere, New York, Cali, everywhere. Uh -huh. I ain't had no feeling like it down here, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, to you. so so I've been waiting to feel some type of way about these cities that I ain't never been. How was the feeling? Atlanta. How was the feeling in the club with me on Sunday? Dog, it's like look. As soon as I walked in, look, I see so many cold females and so many people that mean something. When you say my name in front of those people, bro, I'm like, oh. You know, you know the good. bad thing was I was supposed to, you because you went to the other party and I didn't. I happened to not be there tonight because we we own that party yeah, like that night. Like, yeah. I just so happened to not be there that night. Yeah, but, but had you would have been there, yeah, it would have been you a know. double movie, man. But yeah, I ain't never been no party like the, I ain't never been no party like that, bro. The love is real, bro. Like I said, me, Farai, uh, DJ Ant Dirty, DJ Tone. It's been a lot of DJs that been rocking with the song even before you came to the A. So with you coming to the A, it meant a lot to the city. Without without with you just coming here, just popping up, it meant to a lot of a lot to the city, man. And it showed a lot of people the humbleness in you and everything of that nature. So what can the fans expect from you for the rest of the year, man? Man, listen, y'all can expect a project, some singles, 
and really y'all gonna get to know me because I reach out more to the people. I'm more in touch with the reality and with the people. So y'all gonna get to like me as an artist and as a person this year. You know what I'm saying? You gonna the same person you hear in the reps, the same person you run these interviews is the same person that you gonna see when it's just me and you talking. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Yes, man. T Grizzly in the building. Detroit, stand up, man. You are a humble guy, bro. Stay on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing, my brother. You ain't got now. You got now and next, my brother. So keep doing everything you're doing, man. And we appreciate you for taking your time out. Thank you, Jay, for bringing us the exclusive Jay. interview first, Jay the man. Bro, bro. Don't touch that <laughs> down, man. Keep it locked to the number one station in the streets. Streets Yo. down 4-5.